right, so this is gonna be a short little introductory video on Travis picking. That's a style that was made famous by Merle Travis and then everyone from Chet Atkins and on down the list has played in the style. And it's a very rhythmic style because it relies on your thumb to be your bass player and your rhythm player. And so I'm gonna break this down into four simple steps. Hopefully they'll be simple. But this is done in a very simple little blues. It's played in the key of C, a one, four, five chord format. So once you learn how to play it over the one chord, you just take that and you reposition it, your hand basically, to play the rest of the song for the other chords. So that part makes it a little easier. So here's the four steps we're gonna look at. Uh, step one will be getting the thumb working just as a bass player would work. So it'll sound like this. Just like a bass player would play. And then you're gonna take this, the thumb and you're gonna introduce a rhythm player along with the bass player. So you put the two pieces together and you have... Now all that's being done with the thumb. Right? And then we're gonna add in the lead part. And so the first lead part is gonna go like this. Just like that. So when you put those pieces together... So like that. Now the last piece is just a little flare on the lead part, another little variation which goes like this. So when you put it all together, it should sound like this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a C chord down in first position. And then we're gonna take our pinky and we're gonna put it on the third fret, third string, to convert that C chord into a C7 chord. And that's actually the chord shape we're gonna use for all uh, three chords in this. There's our one chord if we slide it up here. There's our four chord. There's our five chord, four, and back to the one. So that makes it easy. Once you've got the shape in one position, you can just reposition it and play it all over the neck. All right, so once, you can, once you've got that C7 chord made with your left hand, the right hand, you're gonna take your thumb, and we're gonna start by playing the bass part like this. Now, you can see what I'm doing. I'm hitting strings five, six, five, six. But look at my ring finger here. I'm fretting that note in the C chord, which would be the third fret, fifth string, but then I'm dropping that ring finger down to hit the third fret, sixth string. So when you put them together, you have... All right, now in between those notes, we're gonna add our rhythm section, like this. So I start with my thumb on the fifth string, and then I come up and play strings four and three. So you're hitting both of those strings, if you can. If you can only hit the fourth string, that'll work too. It's not like super scientific, but it's okay to just sort of brush the rest of that, like treat it like a chord, just like you're strumming a chord with your thumb. So you have five, four and three, six, four and three. So do it real slow at first, and trust me, it's gonna be frustrating, and everybody that tries this gets super frustrated, but you just stick with it, and muscle memory will kick in, and you'll be able to do it. So just start it real slow, like this. Notice the control here. The strings aren't ringing out. And watch what's happening with my right hand to control it. See how it's bouncing? That's because I'm muting the strings after I hit them. I'll play the note and then mute it. Play the note, mute it. Play the note, you see? So it's, it becomes a very, you're almost dancing with your hands once you get it going. It feels like that. All right, so if you're able to do this so far, you're more than halfway there. All we need to do now is add the lead part. Now this is where it gets a little tricky, but you can do this, trust me. If I can do this, anybody can. So what we're gonna do now is work in that lead part that goes and what I'm doing is I'm playing, don't worry about your left hand, just make that C7 chord and set it and forget it. Now we're just gonna focus on our right hand. So you're gonna play strings two, three, two. That's the lead part. That's the first part of the lead part. We're gonna add in a little extra flair for those of you that want it, but. We just need to put that on top of our rhythm and bass. So to get, here's how you do it. So we're gonna start with the fifth string and then we're gonna come to the fourth string with our thumb and at the same time, we're gonna pluck that second string with our middle finger. So it sounds like this. Then we go down to the sixth string. Index finger hits the third string. So all together you have. Okay, so just get that down first. 
After that, you're gonna come back to the fourth string with your thumb, and then back to strings two and five at the same time, like this. So put all that together and you have. All right, if you can do that, you've almost got it. So let's try looping that now. And we would have something like this. I'm gonna do it really slow. We have. Back to the bass. I'm telling you, once you can get the loop going a few times, muscle memory will kick in and you'll start to be able to do this. It's going to be slow at first, um, but that's what you want it to sound like. Now, remember I said that when you're playing the rhythm part, you're trying to hit strings four and three. Well, not always. I should have been more clear about that. In some cases, you're just going to hit the fourth string, but if you happen to brush that third string, it's okay. It's kind of like what you'd be doing as a rhythm player. You'd be playing one and two and three and four and one. If you happen to just hit the four string, that's okay. So however that works out, it's, it's okay. But we should have this by now. Now let's add one other little flair to this for those of you that are feeling adventurous. We're gonna go like this. Notice that. I went backwards now, strings three and two. So put it all together, we have. And it just loops. And you can choose when to do that little extra part in the lead. Sometimes it's nice to have a variation, like the first time maybe don't do it. Second time, do it. Right? So that's what I like to do, is just kind of mix it up. But you have that option, and, and if you can play that over the one chord, over your C chord, you got the whole thing, because now if, to change chords, we're just gonna slide up so that your ring finger is now on the eighth fret. And that's gonna be playing your F chord, right? But you're playing it up in this position, so you're playing an F7. Back to your one chord. And then we're gonna to go to the five chord. And to do that, ring finger comes up to the 10th fret, fifth string. Back to the four chord, back to the one chord. So there you have it. That's an introduction to Merle Travis finger style picking, Chet Atkins finger picking. It's like a Chet Atkins blues. So try and really learn that and understand it. And if you can do that, Learning all those other Chet Atkins songs will be a lot easier because you'll find a lot of similarity to what we just did.